the longest and shortest runways in the world. Welcome back to Luxatic and let's fly right in. Flight, mankind's biggest dream. Despite its short history, aviation has taken man everywhere on the planet. It has allowed us to see the true face of our blue home and this inspired countless of people to dream of distant horizons, far away from the mundane bits most lives on earth are comprised of. Those who have flown before and opened our eyes to the immensity above have also left a few quotes that express so well the true nature of flying. This most beautiful dream of mankind, a world of blue skies and orange sunrises above the clouds. There's one saying in particular, of an author unknown, that lines up with the purpose of this video. A mile of highway will take you just one mile, but a mile of runway will take you anywhere. In real life, a runway can be over three miles long, but it can also be less than 1,000 feet as well, and everything in between. And this brings us to the intent of this article, to find out which are the longest and shortest runways in the world. So let's fly right in and discover them. Starting with the 10 longest runways in the world, at number 10 we have Erbil International Airport, or EBL, Iraq, with a runway of 4,800 meters. Situated in the Kurdistan region of Iraq, the Erbil International Airport features the 10th longest runway in the world, spanning 4,800 meters or 15,748 feet. It was constructed in the early 1970s as a military base and operated as one until 2003, when the Kurdistan regional government took over the administrative rule of the region after the liberation of the country. The modernized airport opened officially in 2005 and it's administered by both the Iraqi government and the Kurdistan regional government. The airport is world-class both in passenger comfort and by technical standards, and together with the city of Erbil, it's grown to become not just a transfer hub, but also an important destination. Despite the troubled past of the country, the city of Erbil ranks among the safest and most secure cities not only in Iraq, but in the entire world. Another interesting fact is that the Erbil citadel around which the city was built is the longest continuously inhabited sites in the world, with a history that begins around 6,000 years ago. At number 9 we have the Madrid Torreon Airport. Located in central Spain, Madrid is one of Europe's most important transportation hubs and is especially important when it comes to connecting Europe and the American continent. The Madrid Torreon Airport is one of the airports that serve the big city and it's split between military and civilian use. Situated 15 miles northeast of Madrid, the airport serves both the Spanish Ministry of Defence and the Ministry of Published Works. It has a runway of 4,818 metres long, or 15,807 feet, and the civilian part of the airport serves executive and private aviation. At number 8, we have Hamad International Airport, Qatar, with a runway of 4,850 metres. Qatar's Hamad International Airport, formerly known as Doha, offers one of the most comfortable passenger experiences in the world. Employing cutting-edge technology and automation while delivering some of the most impressive entertainment facilities you could ever dream of having in an airport. Hamad is home to Qatar's flag airline carrier Qatar Airways and sits nearby the country's capital Doha, hence its former name. It has two runways, one of which measures 4,850 meters or 15,912 feet in length. Number seven, Denver International Airport, United States, with a runway of 4,877 meters. The Denver International Airport serves the US city of Denver and the entire Colorado. It has the seventh longest runway in the world among commercial airports. It's also the largest airport in North America and has flights to over 200 destinations around the world. Number 6, Upington Airport, South Africa, with a runway of 4,900 meters long. The Upington Airport is situated in Upington, Northern Cape, South Africa, and features a 4,900 meters or 16,100 feet runway. One of the longest in the world, the runway was designed to fulfill the specifications for the operation of the Boeing 747 aircraft with full load of passengers, fuel and cargo, hence the long runway. The airport was opened in 1968 and a 2006 modernization transformed it into an international cargo hub. Currently, there's only one airline that operates regular scheduled flights there and that's Airlink. Apart from it, there are various other non-scheduled charter flights that also operate from Ubington Airport. 
And number five, we have Embraer, Unidade, Gaviape, Exoto, Airport, Brazil. Located near Sao Paulo, Brazil, the Embraer Unidade Gabriel Pexoto Airport is home to the longest public use runway on the American continent, reaching 4,967 meters or 16,295 feet. Since 2001, the airport is also home to an Embraer plant where pallets of various Embraer aircraft are produced. The company also utilizes the airport for flight testing. Number 4. Ulyanovsk Vostochny Airport, Russia, with a runway of 5,000 meters. If you look back in history, there has always been a battle between East and West when it came to aircraft technology, and Russia always went big on size. Thinking of that, it's no wonder that it's got two airports that have runways with reach and exceed 5,000 meters. The Ulyanovsk Vostochny Airport, IATA code ULY, is located 28 kilometers north of the city of Ulyanovsk and mainly serves as a cargo airport, but also as a hub for the Volga Niep Airlines. Number 3, Shigatse Peace Airport, China, with a runway of 5,000 meters. With the same runway length of 5,000 meters, the Shigatse Peace Airport in Shigatse, Tibet Autonomous Region is in a tie with the Ulyanovsk Vostochny Airport before. The airport is a joint use facility between the Chinese military and public airlines, some of them being China Eastern Airlines, Tibet Airlines, and West Air, all operating regular scheduled flights. At number two, we have Sukhovsky International Airport. IATA code ZIA, Russia, with a runway of 5,402 meters. The second longest commercial runway in the world belongs to the Sukhovsky International Airport in Moscow, Russia, at 5,402 meters. It's also the longest runway in Europe, capable of handling some of the world's largest airplanes. The airport itself is new, being opened only in 2016, and is Moscow's fourth international airport able of managing up to 4 million passengers per year. Number 1. Kamda Bamda Airport, China, with a runway of 5,500 meters. The Kamda Bamda Airport in Bamda, Tibet Autonomous Region, China, serving the city of Kamda, which is 136 kilometers away, is currently holding the title for the longest commercial runway in the world, spanning 5,500 meters or 18,045 feet. The reason for such a long runway is the altitude of 4,400 meters above sea level at which the airport is situated. The high altitude means there's virtually less air than at sea level, which negatively impacts an airplane's lift. With wings generating less than normal lift, the airplane simply requires more runway length to reach the usual takeoff speed. And as we finish our list of longest runways in the world, let's go to the opposite end of the road and look at the 10 shortest runways in the world. Starting at number 10, we have the John A. Osborne Airport in Montserrat, Caribbean, with a runway of only 600 meters. The John A. Osborne Airport is located in a village in the British Overseas Territory in Montserrat, the Caribbean Sea. It was formerly called Gerald's Airport after the name of the village and after a modernization. The airport received a new passenger terminal in 2005, its runway is 600 meters long, and it comes with a public tunnel underneath, the only one of its kind in the Caribbean. The airport features modern air traffic control, restaurant, and upgraded facilities as well. Number 9. Courchevel Altiport, France, with a runway of 537 meters. The Courchevel Altiport in the French Alps is a very interesting one. Unique in the world thanks to the shape and location of its runway, the runway length of 537 meters, or 1,762 feet, poses a difficulty for pilots but the primary challenge is the fact that the runway itself is built on the side of a mountain and it has an upward slope and a gradient of 18%, making landing very difficult. To make things even more interesting, there's no go-around procedure due to the mountainous terrain around, no lighting aids and no instrument approach procedures either. The Courchevel Altiport serves the ski resort of Courchevel and it's considered one of the most dangerous airports in the world for the reasons stated before. Number 8. Ramechap Airport, Nepal, with a runway of 530 meters. Nepal has several short runway airports, one of them being the Ramechap Airport, which serves the municipality of Mantali near Kathmandu, and usually operates flights between it and the famous Lukla Airport. The runway Ramechap Airport is only 530 meters long, or 1,739 feet. 
The airport is mainly used by tourists who want to go trekking and climbing in the Himalayas, which is why all its scheduled flights are to Lukla. Number 7. Still in Nepal, we have Tenzing Hillary Airport, with a runway of 527 meters. The Tenzing Hillary Airport, also known as Lukla Airport, is also one of the most dangerous airports in the world. Actually, for many years it was considered the most dangerous airport in the world, which is how it got its legendary status. On the other hand, due to its location, it's also the starting point for treks to Mount Everest Base Camp. That is the main reason for its popularity, despite the dangers presented by the short 527 meter runway and the often adverse weather conditions there which count high winds, cloud cover, challenging surrounding terrain and sudden losses of visibility. Number 6. Mary's Airport, Isles of Scilly, United Kingdom with a runway of 525 meters. Situated in the Isles of Scilly, United Kingdom, St Mary's Airport is the only airport serving the islands. It features two runways, one of which has only 525 meters long. The airport is open all year round for the public, but it's also utilized by emergency services such as the Coast Guard and search and rescue teams and also the Cornwall Air Ambulance. Number 5. Back to Nepal again, we find ourselves at the Doti Airport with a runway of only 490 meters. Also known as Silgadi, the Doti Airport in Nepal serves the country's Doti district. While the airport itself was opened in 1973, its 490-meter or 1,608-feet runway was only blacktopped and modernized in 2020. Two years later, the airport started having scheduled flights. Currently, there's only one airline who operates from Doti, Nepal Airlines, and most flights are towards Dangadi, which is Nepal's westernmost aviation hub. Number 4. Helgoland Airport, Germany, with a runway of 480 meters. The Helgoland Airport is situated on the island of Dune, part of the Helgoland Archipelago, Germany, and it sits at an altitude of only 2 meters above the sea level. The length of its main runway reaches only 480 meters. There's only one airline operating there, the OFD, Ostfriesische Flugdienst, with the scheduled flights to only two destinations. Number 3. The Yuankoi Rauskin Airport, Caribbean, with a runway of only 400 meters. The Yuankoi Rauskin Airport on the Dutch Caribbean island of Saba is another very intriguing airport, one that has developed a legendary reputation among aviation enthusiasts. Its 400 meter runway is the shortest paved runway in the world right now, but even more spectacular is the orientation of the runway and the approach path with no space at either end of the runway, ending right above the cliffs and the water. Due to that particularity, there's only a few stall, aka short takeoff and landing capable aircraft that operate there. Number 2. Westray Airport, Scotland, with a runway of 291 meters. The Westray Airport and its brother Papa Westray in Scotland make for an interesting pair. Connecting them is the shortest commercial flight in the world, taking only 2 minutes and covering a distance of just 2.8 kilometers or 1.7 miles. The runway at the Westray Airport measures only 291 meters. The airport itself is operated by the Orkney Islands Council and Logan Air is the only operator that has regular scheduled flights in and out of Westray, including the one to Papa Westray. And top of our list, last but not least at number 1, we have Papa Westray. Scotland with a runway of only 250 meters. The smaller airport of the two, Papa Westray, also has a runway of only 250 meters, which is considered the shortest commercial runway in the world. It's incredibly small when you compare it to the longest runway in the world, but it's understandable for such a small place. The airport has commercial passenger flights to three destinations, but it's not equipped to handle night flights. These are currently the longest and the shortest runways in the world, all of them impressive feats of engineering, no matter if they're on the large or short scale. While the longest runways in the world pose no problem to pilots, the shortest runways in the world, and especially those at higher altitudes that see severe weather conditions and mountainous terrain, such as the Courchevel Altiport in France or the Lukla Airport in Nepal, pose a big challenge and huge risk to pilots.